What area are we? Where are you going? We're in London. Okay, thank you for that. I am at the airport, obviously. Uh, I'm in Chicago, I was flying to New York when my producers called me and said, don't come here, go somewhere else. Pick a city, go there, and see what you can get into within 24 hours. So I picked London, as in England. Oh, and did I mention I don't have anything with me except a backpack? Made it to London. Hello? Where am I going? Well, where are you going? Okay, 14SB. That's not a real address. That's, a, that's an address. Welcome to London, baby. I don't understand why it's called an oyster card. Okay. I think I'm in the right place. I made it! Hi. Oh, yes. How are you? Yeah, I found I you. told you I'd make it. Everything looks like Harry Potter. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's Just cool. everything. Oh my god, this seems safe. Katie. It's like following a small little gnome through London. You need a haircut. I do, I do need a haircut. Wait, are we getting my haircut right here? Do you want to get your haircut? In London? Yeah. Hell yeah. Everyone's well known for haircuts in London. Okay, she's trying to sell me on this city. I do think London's a very cool city. Yeah. Compared to New York or Chicago, I don't know that it's better. This straight up looks like Sweeney Todd. Yeah, it is. Let's go and have a look. Hi. You want something to drink? I'm good, thank you. What do you have to drink? I have uh, water, beer, coke. I'll do a beer. Wow, thank you. Do you think he gave me the American beer because of the American? I just feel so good, good, good. Oh, I just feel so good. Hell yeah. Yeah. Brother, thank you, man. Thank you. If you ever get off a plane and your jet lags, get a haircut, beer, if you're in London, guillotine. Right, Alright, Katie, thank so far so good. I will say, barbershop, better than New York. Can we get one? No. Why? No. Where, where it, it makes noise. Look, wait, press me. I don't get it, it's broken. Right, now we're heading to the bridge. What's up? The bridge? Yeah. yeah. I see the world through my thrift store shades, rose colored lenses and a fake gold frame. Come on. Posing for your picture like a superstar. Yeah, come on. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do, I just feel so good. good. That's pure meat. No, meat and bacon. Sausage roll. Oh, it's a good one. It's a good one. That's a whole sausage. Yeah. Mmm. See? Not right. it's, no, it's not. This is a really old um, wall. Wall. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wait, wait. It's. What's his name? Shakespeare's Globe. Oh, this is it? Yeah. That's small. So, this bridge we're coming up to now is called Millennium Bridge. Yeah. And they built it Millennium. Go figure. Um, but it's also nicknamed the Wobbly Bridge because it wobbles. They didn't build it strong enough? No. It does work. Was it not supposed to? No. Okay. So far. That, you're out of breath from that? Yeah. So far we've gotten my hair cut, we've had two beers, one American, I don't know if that counts. Um, we've seen an amazing river line. This is the Thames. Thames? Thames. 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 They spell it very odd, they. like this. Um, I've seen a ton of street performers, and now we're gonna go see the sunset from... Waterloo Bridge. There's, uh, there's so many bridges. Whatever. We're diamonds in the rough right now. Never 
so much vinegar on that. It's a good city. I'd live here, don't get me wrong. Right it. <laughs> so tidy. Like 8.5 out of 10. What would you rate Chicago? 10. It's like I'm telling a ghost story. Okay, so update, we are in the back of a English Black cab. Cats. These cabs are huge, by the way. Have a great day. I like London. It's great. Why is it better? Because I'm here. Yeah, but you're in New York a lot too. Yeah, I know, it's true. And Chicago. Oh well, yeah, only when I get invites. What makes London better? Um, the food? The people? Food I feel like is super subjective. Um, the people are fine, but Chicago's like super nice, so I, Chicago wins on that. The transportation I am happy with. It was okay. very easy. I got from Heathrow to like London City Central. London Bridge. Zone one, I learned that. Zone one, that's um, true. With Pretty much no problem at all. Okay, what about the history? Yeah, but New York has history. history. We have fucking what? You guys have like Lancelot and stuff. Buckingham Palace, we got Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> Roughly 9.30 in the morning, I am headed to the subway station to get to the airport to catch my flight, which is in an hour and a half. Here we go. For the record, I am very late for my flight. I promised my mom I would get her a Harrods bag. So that's what we're doing before I literally run for my flight. The last person on this plane. <sighs> it was three minutes before the door closed, I made the flight. 24 hours in London, complete. Okay, we made it safely home, barely making the flight, but the real interesting part was what happened when I landed in the United States, because apparently when you all leave the country for only 24 hours and you travel as far as London and return with nothing but a backpack, you look suspicious. So I was randomly selected, I'm sure it was random, uh, to have a lovely 35 minute conversation with a US Border Patrol Customs Officer. Now, I should footnote this, he was actually very nice and understanding given the circumstances. He was suspicious, but he wasn't, you know, trying to put handcuffs on me or anything. But that didn't mean that they didn't go through my bag with the utmost of detail. Uh, it's a camera bag, if you've ever seen one before, there's a lot of little zippers and niches and, and places that they felt it necessary to search. So they did that. And the conversation went something like, so you're telling me that you went to London, England for 24 hours, and I said, yeah. He was by yourself, mm -hmm. with nothing but a backpack. Yep, to film a video. You got it. And he goes, you have to understand what this sounds like. I said, it sounds like you've been watching a lot of Netflix and Narcos and Ozark lately. And then I stopped and I realized he didn't laugh right away. And you ever have that moment where you say something and like you go to reach out and grab the words, and you're like, no. That was kind of me because I was about this close to getting strip searched. Uh, but ultimately he laughed it off and after a very thorough uh, search of everything that I had with me, they ultimately let me go. So if you don't want to deal with US Customs and get randomly selected, I wouldn't suggest traveling somewhere for only 24 hours with nothing but a backpack. But if you're up for it, you kind of know the risks. I come with it. Uh, in the end, London was a massive success. A huge shout out to Katie Tiz, who has been featured on this channel before for the Big Rewind uh, when she's been in New York, but this was awesome to be able to visit her in her hometown of London, England, and have her show me around. In addition to being a very awesome friend, she is also an incredibly talented singer, songwriter, and artist, so make sure you check out her music. She's much bigger of a deal than I am, so you can literally just search Katie Tiz on YouTube or Google and you'll see many of the songs that she has put out over the years. So with that said, that is it for today's Big Rewind. Make sure you tune in next week to see what we come up with. Uh, if you've been a longtime subscriber of the show, you're knowing that we're kind of trying a bunch of new stuff and this is where it gets really exciting. Uh, if you're not, what are you doing? 
What are you waiting for? Click over here to see our most recent video. Click down here to subscribe. Give the video a thumbs up if you thought it was crazy, awesome, weird, or just any of the above. And I will see you next week on The Big Rewind.